Donald Sterling, in all of his negativity, did nothing but reflect positive light on Magic Johnson simply because we're so turned off by Donald Sterling. So I don't feel like there was a need for Magic to defend himself because I don't think any of us were looking at him saying, what do you have to say for yourself, Magic? Well, see, that that's the thing. And a lot of, and, and I think the competitive nature, and even, even yeah. Magic said that, Tom, that I'm, I'm a competitor and that came out of me. He felt like he was challenged and had to answer. And he answered, too, on a, did a different interview. Didn't he do a TMZ interview as well? He called in live, he I believe, He called in TMZ. live, and then he did this. I mean, this is one of those situations where some of the things he told Anderson Cooper about Sterling, that Sterling should, hey, talk to your lawyers. You need, you know, <laughs> you need a plan here or whatever. When, when he said they spoke on the phone, I almost thought the same thing about Magic. I mean, if you're going to do this, do it once. But he already called in live to TMZ. Now he's going to sit down with Anderson Cooper. There's part of me, Tom, though, that, that was like, okay, I, I am a competitor. You're a competitor. A lot of people don't like what they have been like they what they do challenged. And he got challenged basically. But Ryan, I agree with you. There was nothing that when that Sterling John or Donald Sterling interview ended, I never once thought to myself, well, I can't wait to see how Magic answers these right, allegations. Right. You know, I mean, it. it, it Everybody knows what Magic has done. Now he had to he had to face because th there was Sterling bringing up you know the HIV and he'd go around from city to city sleeping right. with women and Magic t touched on that as well. But the one thing I'll say, Tom, that that I kind of thought Magic didn't need to do. I didn't think he needed to go down the litany uh, the list of things he has done. I, I think he was way above that to say you know what people can find that out. My track record speaks right. for itself. Instead, of, and Anderson Cooper was jumping right in on it, listing things as well. I don't think it should have been an interview, and part of it was of telling us all the things that Magic Johnson has done. We know a lot of the things he's done, and I didn't think. But we I don't think to everybody does, though, Mike. I, I really don't. I, I mean, we do because we're in the sports arena and we follow Magic, not just as a former great basketball player, but the philanthropic things he does, the accomplished business acumen that he has. I disagree from this perspective. I truly think that the sensitive nature of this conversation right. led him to want to talk. As you mentioned, you're talking about yes. talking about HIV. You're talking yep. about race, racism. I was I no, attacked. I'm going to answer. Yeah, I had no problem with Magic Johnson because of the sensitive nature of the conversation, wanting to kind of tell his side of the story. I'm with you, though. I don't think he needed to go line by line right, right. by line. But there were so many factually inaccurate statements made by Donald Sterling about Magic's involvement in inner city Los Angeles and the money that he has raised millions of dollars yeah. for people uh, in, in less than privileged environments and money uh, that has been donated for AIDS research and HIV research. I had no problem with Magic wanting to step forward and actually dispute some of the ramblings of a crazy guy.